Today is yet another example of an opportunity to provide justice to the memory of Dr. Max Stern, who managed Gallery Stern in Dusseldorf, Germany. In 1936, the Nazi regime forced the gallery to liquidate its inventory because of the owner's Jewish heritage. And in 1937, Dr. Stern was forced into exile. From the most unjust of times, a measure of justice is restored today. Thank you, Mike. Young man as Bacchus has survived several, several generations of exile. The painting has wandered the globe for nearly 80 years since being forced into sale under the auspices of the Nazi, Nazi regime. Young Man as Bacchus was most recently owned by the Luigi Corretto Gallery in Turin, Italy. The gallery, with no knowledge of the painting's unfortunate past, had consigned it for sale at an art fair in New York City recently in 2015. The FBI seized the painting after being made aware of its existence at the fair, and today we return it to the rightful owners of the Stern Foundation. We are honored to restore this extraordinary piece of art once liquidated from the gallery collection belonging to Julia Stern, who also faced exile at the hands of the Nazis. Today's ceremony is just one example of our commitment to restore significant arts and antiques to their rightful owners. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, New York for return ceremonies, and most meaningfully, uh, after nine years that we're here uh, to announce once we learn that this painting comes to uh, the New York Armory as part of the Spring Masters Fair of 2015, after which then we get into action by asking our partners at the HCPO, the Holocaust Claims Processing Office, as well as dealer associates that we work with who happen to be at the Spring Masters Fair to corroborate the fact that the painting is now on American soil. And that's when we engage with our partners in the FBI, and soon after, within I believe 36 hours, the painting is seized, and thanks to the uh, uh, fairly unselfish and open-minded uh, uh, relationship with the gallery in Italy, the painting is then uh, restituted. Eminent, if not the greatest art dealer in Canada of the 20th century, having handled... Dr. Stern was a victim of legalized persecution in his native Germany due to his religion. That caused him to become, in turn, a refugee, an enemy alien, a civilian alien, and finally, in his new home in Montreal, a successful and influential art dealer. Although Dr. Stern did not live to see the return of his art, he had hope for the future. He bequeathed his assets, including his interest in recovered artwork, to three nonprofit institutions of higher learning hoping for days like today when restitution would happen.